The benefits of such values are immeasurable. The respect for humanity does not end at the doorstep or even at the borders. Respect for humanity enables us to serve humanity at every opportunity. This certainly has been the experience of the Ahmadiyya community. Our youth are at the forefront of living the message of Islam, which is the message of peace. Our founder, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, peace be upon him, revitalized this fading message and showed us the beauty of how Islam and indeed all religions bind us together. He was the promised Messiah of the latter days that all religions are awaiting. And under divine guidance, he founded the community just over 100 years ago in Kardian, India. He bought no new scripture or law, but revived the true Islam and restored it to his former glory. His mission has been blessed with success to the extent that it is now established in over 180 countries of the world with millions upon millions of followers dedicated to spreading the message of peace, the same message as that of the Holy Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him. It is that sense of purpose that we have established numerous schools and hospitals worldwide which are open to all so that there is no discrimination or isolation on the basis of faith or other factors. It has also led to the establishment of Humanity First as a global relief charity which has been at the forefront of providing humanitarian relief worldwide. From Kobe to Bosnia, Indonesia, Pakistan, Turkey, Iraq and America and indeed, our team is currently in Madagascar helping with the disaster relief. It is also committed to long-term projects to help people help themselves. For example, in Africa, its gift of sight and water well projects are revolutionizing life for remote villages and enabling them to progress. Our community has also blessed with the system of Khilafat that unites and leads us as one. It is a distinguishing feature of our community in the Muslim world. I would like to end this brief introduction with an extract from the writing of our founder who said, be kind and merciful to humanity for all are his creatures. Do not oppose them with your tongue or hands or in any other way. Always work for the good of mankind. Never unduly assert yourself with pride over others, even those who are placed under you. Never use abusive language for anyone, even though he abuses you. Be humble in spirit, kind and gentle and forgiving. Sympathetic towards all, wishing them well so that you should be accepted. Our motto, love for all, hatred for none, encapsulates this message very well. These are the values that are so much needed today and the values that we must revive in our society. We are so fortunate today that we have amongst us His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, the international head of our community, who will be addressing us later this evening before we have some addresses from our distinguished guests. Thank you very much. Once again, a warm welcome to all of you and hope that you have a very good evening this evening. Thank you. Zur, our uh, first speaker of the evening is Ms. Justine Greening, Member of Parliament for Putney. Putney is the constituency in which the London Mosque is situated. So she is a Member of Parliament representing the London Mosque we have very cordial and uh, good relations with our member of parliament and she has always supported us and as such i'm delighted to say that ever since justine has been elected to parliament we have received her support i welcome justine greening mp Thank you for that very kind introduction. It's an absolute privilege and pleasure for me to be able to briefly address everybody who's here tonight. 
Um, it's fantastic to see so many people, many of whom I know personally, um, from right across our community and our local area. I can see some other MPs, I can see members from the House of Lords, so I can see my local councillors and mayors, and also local residents. So it's fantastic that we've all been able to gather here tonight. Um, I think sometimes, although life seems very complex, actually it boils down to some very simple rules. I, I think that politics works best when it works with the grain of human nature rather than against it. But I also think we have some simple rules for our local communities and our society. And I think that our communities work best when they work together. And I think that our communities work best when they focus on the common things that they have that bind them together rather than the things that divide sections of our community. And that's why tonight is so important. It's in interesting to me that as a local MP, I spend a lot of time meeting up with many different groups. And you sort of see that a network is created by which we all end up being here tonight, but ha perhaps have not met one another before. This evening is absolutely critical because as, as leaders of our community and as people who care about what happens to our community, we all have to play our role in improving the ties that bind us together. And that is what this evening is here to do. And that is why it's so fantastic for us all to be able to have, um, come together tonight. It is a, an absolute privilege for me to have the Amadea community based in my constituency. I'm very proud to be able to represent them. And I can assure them that for as long as I am the Member of Parliament, I will do my best to represent them with all the energy and vigour that I have. And I absolutely salute them for the leadership that they have shown this evening in making this event happen. Thank you.